the one click identify device and one click identify text functions are enhanced to improve work efficiency in the October version of TME. When using the two functions only on the current floor of a project, you can select labels or legends in the join area directly without opening any extra window. Furthermore, the display legend and display label functions are added so that you can see what legends or labels are selected in your previous operation steps without going back to the select legend or select label window each time to check. First, I will introduce the enhancement for one click identify device function by taking sprinklers in PDF mode as an example. After creating and saving a project and importing and scaling all PDF joints for all floors, select sprinklers on the left, then click one click identify device under legend identify. Select the current floor, namely the first floor in the column of floor name and select sprinkler in the column of element type. Then double click either the column of element name or legend. Since you are using the function now on the current floor, namely the first floor, so you can select the legends of sprinklers in the join area without opening any extra window now. Jack select or left click, double right click, then click new in the window to create a new sprinkler element. Enter its attribute information as needed. Click OK. Then this legend is selected. Repeat selecting other legends of sprinklers. Then right click to go back to the define element window to switch to other floor of this project. For example, switch to the second floor and also double right click the legend or the element name column. Since you are not using the function on the current floor, so the select legend window pops up. In the window, all the floors of this project except the current floor are displayed. Repeat selecting the legends of sprinklers in this window, double right click and create a new element as well. Click OK. Keep switching to other floors to select other legends of sprinklers as needed. You can also click display legend. Then as you can see, all the selected legends of sprinklers are displayed for you on the right of the window. When you have selected all the sprinklers legends 
right click to go back to the defined element window. Click move up or move down to make sure the complex legends come before the simple ones. If everything is checked OK, select the floors to take off. On the right, click OK. Click OK. As you can see, all the sprinklers on the all three floors are identified. Click OK. Now, I will show you how to use the enhancement for the one click identify text functions. You can either switch to see the join or select any of the element on the left. Then click one click identify text under text identify. And, and then select the current floor, namely the first floor in the first column, then double-click the column of label. Since you are using the function on the current floor, namely the first floor, you only need to select labels in the join area without opening any extra window now. Then, drag select or left click to select the label to identify. Double left click to specify the direction of the label. Enter the text. Click OK. This label is selected. Repeat selecting other labels. Then right click to go back to the define text window and switch to other floors to select other labels. For example, select the second floor. Double right click, double left click the column of label. Then the select label window pops up. Here you can switch to other flaws except the current flaws as needed. Repeat selecting other labels as needed. You can click display label on the top to see what labels are selected. It should be noted that if the same label, for example, like uh, the label 32, is displayed in different colors or sides on different floors, you need to select the label again. After you have selected all the labels on all the floors of this project, right click to go back to the define text window. Use the move up or move down button to make sure 
the complex labels come before the simple ones. Select the flaws to identify labels on the right. Click OK. Click OK. As you can see, all the labels are identified.